Dog training is an important part of your dog's growth, but certain breeds are more difficult to train than others. They are still lovable and valuable members of your family, but training these breeds will require a little more effort and patience, as well as possibly some additional dollars. Our dogs are like family, but let's face it, some of them are difficult to teach. Despite their sweetness, training your four-legged pet can be a chore. Hi, welcome to Dog Joy. In this episode, we'll look at some of the most difficult dogs to train, and you can decide whether their furry loveliness is worth the effort. Let's get started. Number 19, Alaskan Malamute. The Alaskan Malamute is well-renowned for being one of the oldest known sled dogs, possibly dating back as far as 4,000 years. Their intellect and tenacity may impede training. They are recognized for being playful, faithful, and friendly dogs. Because Malamutes have a mind of their own, they will respond best to consistent and patient training. Number 18, American Foxhound. The American Foxhound, an easygoing, sweet-natured and low-maintenance dog, was created by George Washington. They are, however, independent and stubborn dogs, so you might want to enroll them in obedience classes. They are also high-energy dogs who, if bored or under-exercised, will become destructive and noisy. The training of the American Foxhound necessitates patience and perseverance. Number 17. Australian Cattle Dog in the 1800s, the Australian cattle dog was brought to Australia from England and bred to herd meat cattle in the harsh Australian outback. They are curious, friendly and loyal canines who will get into mischief if bored. They are a high energy, extremely clever and headstrong dog. These characteristics can make training more challenging. Therefore, keeping them occupied with obedience training or even agility or herding trials is encouraged. Number 16. Bazenji. Bazenjis are one of the world's oldest canines, having been carried from Africa to ancient Egypt. These unusual dogs are recognized for making a yodeling sound instead of barking and grooming themselves in a cat-like manner. They are curious and lively canines who can be distant yet affectionate. Bazenjis can be mischievous, bright and self-reliant, and they can lose interest in training very soon. Short periods of training with reward-based training strategies should be used. Number 15. Basset Hound. The Basset Hound is a French breed, and the word Basset literally means low in French. These dogs are known for their calm, gentle, and sweet personalities, but they also have a strong sense of independence. They were taught to hunt on their own and are not easily distracted, so they may appear aloof and uninterested in listening to you. All Basset requires throughout training is consistency, patience, and a lot of time. Number 14. Bearded Collie. The Bearded Collie is a breed of dog that originated in the Scottish Highlands and was once used to herd and control livestock. Because of their herding instincts, they are amiable, affectionate and playful dogs with a strong streak of independence. Treats, positive reinforcement and perseverance will finally help teach the lovely but difficult Beardy. Number 13. Bloodhound the Bloodhound is thought to have originated in the 3rd century in the ancient Mediterranean. These hounds are curious, affable and self-reliant, but can also be quite stubborn. Because Bloodhounds believe they are in charge, they should be trained with patience, love and a firm but soft touch. Start training as soon as possible and think about enrolling the Bloodhound in an obedience class. Number 12. Bozoi the Borzoi, often known as the Russian Wolfhound, was developed during the reign of the Romanovs, 1613 to 1917. These beautiful dogs are loyal, friendly and peaceful in nature, and their tenacity and intelligence make them difficult to train. Because the Borzoi were designed to hunt small animals, they should always be leashed when out, and training should be done with patience and persistence. Number 11. Briad. The Briad have been shepherds and guards in northern France since the 8th century. They are protective, confident, affectionate dogs who are intelligent and independent. Keep the training sessions engaging, enjoyable and upbeat and the Briard will pick things up quickly and excel. Number 10. Chinese Sha Pei The Chinese Sha Pei has been used as guardians, hunters and herders for 2,000 years in ancient China. These unusual looking dogs are loyal, peaceful and affectionate, as well as intelligent and stubborn, as are most of the dogs on this list. Consider dog obedience classes if you want to start training your dog at an early age. A well-adjusted family pet is the result of consistent and caring training. Number 9. Chow Chow 
The Chow Chow, like the Sha Pei, is thought to have originated before China's Han Dynasty and was used as companions, hunters and guard dogs. The Chow Chow is a quiet, aloof and devoted breed that is also intelligent and headstrong. If you stick to the traditional positive and patient training methods, you'll eventually be able to train the Chow Chow. Number 8. Dachshund the Dachshund is a dog that originated in Germany some 600 years ago and was employed to dig badgers out of their caves. These long dogs are insatiably curious, sociable and courageous, and they are also extremely bright, independent and stubborn. Due to their highly sensitive natures, reward-based training that is solely based on positive encounters works best with this breed. Dachshunds are also prone to not always listening if they are distracted by something else, so make training sessions fun and engaging. Number 7. The Great Pyrenees In the Pyrenees Mountains, the Great Pyrenees was bred as a herding and guard dog for flocks, located between Spain and France. This huge breed is gentle, patient and loyal, as well as intelligent and self-sufficient. Peers are notoriously uninterested in training and often bored, so they may answer to your directions slowly. Early dog training sessions, especially with the peer, are crucial, as is a great deal of patience. Number 6. Kerry Blue Terrier The Kerry Blue Terrier is an Irish breed that was raised to be farm dogs and used for a range of tasks. They are versatile, lively, very social, and their intelligence combined with a bit of stubbornness makes them difficult dogs to train. You'll have a lot happier partner if you keep them entertained with activities like herding, agility, and rally. Early dog training sessions, like with most dogs, will go a long way toward a well-mannered canine. Number 5. Kuvash during the Middle Ages, the Kuvaj, pronounced Kuvaj, was transported to Hungary and used as a livestock guardian. These loyal and fearless canines are bright and independent, yet they mature at a slower rate than most dogs. It takes a lot of time to train them, and they will not react to boring and repetitive training. The Kuvaj will require dog persistent training and is not recommended for first time dog owners. Number 4. Mastiv. The Mastiff, often known as the Old English Mastiff, was utilised as estate guardians, big game hunters and in warfare during the Middle Ages. These enormous dogs are bold, sweet-natured and patient, but unlike the majority of the canines on this list, they are also amiable and sensitive. The Mastiff's aversion to repetition, which will bore them and presents a barrier in training. The Mastiff will shine if you only use praise, love and short pleasant training sessions. Number 3. Pekingese the Pekingese is a breed of dog that originated in ancient China as royal lap dogs for Chinese emperors. These little dogs are self-assured, friendly and loyal, but they are also bright and can be stubborn. They're thought to be a little opinionated and their independence makes training them a little difficult. Positive training combined with a lot of patience and consistency, like with most of the dogs on this list, will result in a happy and charming companion. Number 2. Weimarana the Weimarana is one of the newest breeds on this list, having been developed in Germany in the early 1800s as a hunting dog. These dogs are obedient, sociable and loving, but they're on this list for a different reason than the others. Why are they on this list if they are actually quite trainable, as they are eager to please and will pick up training quickly? Because the Weimarana is incredibly intelligent and may easily pick up on both good and bad habits. Attend training classes and stick to your training schedule and your Weimarana will grow into a loyal and loving family member. Number 1. West Highland Terrier The West Highland Terrier is one of several Scottish Terrier breeds bred to hunt rats. These are busy, loyal and joyful dogs who are also intelligent and independent, which is the mark of a difficult to train dog. Although Westies are bred to work independently, they will benefit from continuous and fascinating training sessions with a patient and caring owner. So which dog do you think is the most difficult to train? If you're the proud owner of one of these dogs, don't give up if you're having trouble training them. A difficult to train dog might also be an indicator of a clever and independent dog who will not develop separation anxiety when you leave the house. Positive training methods along with patience and persistence will be the key to successfully teaching practically any dog. You'll have a smart, happy and well-adjusted companion if you educate yourself on the dog breed and are willing to enroll your dog in dog training and obedience lessons. If you love dogs like we do and want to see more videos about all the amazing dogs in the world, please be sure to like, subscribe and share with all your friends. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.